All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Shapak coming at you with another street teaching through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, to you brothers that are on the highways and the byways, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do, to do so. Now, so more than ever, you brothers, I say Shalom. Hey, man, um, I'm going to start it off with the. Uh, an article I had got into last night, and it was basically uh, an article going into how the U.S. is on the verge of a uh, another civil war, you know, uh, something like the first one that they had. And uh, it was an article from RT News, and I'm going to pull it up, and I'm going to kind of get into the article, and then I want to get uh, a couple of scriptures, you know, I'm going to just roll, uh, roll through the spirit, you know. And uh, con. So, let's see the article. It says billionaire says U.S. on classic path to civil war. And uh, I'm not gonna get you know all the way into it. I'm into it. I'm gonna get a couple of key points. It says um. Let's say the current, he was saying that the current financial conditions and irreconcilable concilable differences in desires and values are consistent with the ingredients leading to civil strife, according to him. And, you know, you have people that um, wanted to see Trump stay in office. You got people that want to see Trump back in office. You got people that are basically, you know, uh, you know, that they're, they're on different sides of the spectrum. You know, there's a heavy spirit of division in the United States right now. You got the vaccinated against the unvaccinated. You got Trump supporters against Biden supporters, you know, um, and so on and so forth. You know, and that's it all lines up with prophecy. You know, Yahweh Shai said um, he came to send division on the earth, which I'm going to keep reading this article. And Lord willing, I'll get into some scriptures, like I said. But, um. It says he pointed to a number of factors that led him to this notion, including large deficits, high taxes, inflation, and wealth disparity that bring about, bring about political polarization. You know, and this is all the plan of the elites, man. You know, they're uh, setting the stage for the chaos so that they can come with their order. And, they, and that order is their new world order, you know. What well, they want every hey man, it's 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 uh basically among the the woke, it's common knowledge that these uh these elite bankers they want everybody chipped, you know. So I'm gonna keep reading. I'm like I said, I'm gonna skip down um and get to the main points. It says when that happens at the same time as there are foreign powers that are becoming strong enough to challenge the leading world power, hey, you know. Isaiah the 14th chapter, man. It says um, that is encountering this civil war dynamic. It is an especially risky period. That is the period I believe we are in, we are now in. Daleo stressed, adding that the biggest question is how much the system will be in before it breaks. So these people know, man. These billionaires, these millionaires, these trillionaires. They see the downfall of the United States coming, you know, and he's basically saying that um, it's not uh, uh, if it's going to happen. It's basically a matter of when, man. You know, there is no saving Babylon, man. You know, but, you know, hey, he's aware that at the same time there's a civil war brewing in the United States. We also have these other nations challenging the United States, man. You know, so I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures on basically, hey man, uh, the division that's going on in this place. You know, and on top of that, you got food shortages. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have the Heavenly Father sending out judgment at a very high rate, especially upon you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know? Jake just refused to acknowledge the scourges, the scourges, you know, because the Heavenly Father is tearing Jake the hell up right now. 
whether you're just an average Jake on the street or whether you're a rapper or entertainer, you know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is putting a lot of you Israelites to death, man. And it's going to continue to get worse and worse for you, you know. You know, hey, Jake ain't in that repentant spirit. Jake wants this place to continue on, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake trust is uh Jake trust in oppression. You know? Well, that's what this place is to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is your oppression. You know, this is your captivity. You know, so you know, um, if you continue to not acknowledge Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, not acknowledge the fact that you're an Israelite. You know, and, and, and you continue to follow in the ways of this place and not repent, man, uh, you're going to end up perishing, man. So the, the scripture I want to get is uh, it's in Luke, the 12th chapter. You know, uh, the vision, you know, food shortages, nation rising up against nation, wars and rumors of wars are all signs of our Lord's return. You know, and we're seeing those signs. This is Luke 12 and 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. You know, and hey man, America is a house divided against itself. You know, like, like you how I said, if a house, um, matter of fact, I'm going I'm to pull that precept. You know, brothers, bear with me, Baba Kashai. You know, the scriptures tell you how a house divided against itself so can, uh, cannot stand. You know, so America's fall is imminent. And the other nations smell blood, man. You know, like the scriptures say, art thou, art thou also become weak as we? You know, that's that spirit that the other nations are in. You know what I'm saying? They're beefing up their nuclear technology. You know, you got Russia and China uh, joining, joining hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? So... It's only a matter of time before all out uh, war breaks out between Russia, China, Iran, and the U.S., man, and uh, and, and uh, those other countries that have their faces turned against this place. You know, it's only a matter of time. So, uh, you know, like that man, uh, that, that billionaire in the article, he spoke about how you know, these other nations are starting to challenge the U.S., man, because they see how weak the U.S. has become compared to the superpower it used to be. This is Isaiah 14 and 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up for thee, Salaki, it stirred up the dead for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth, it hath raised up from their thrones, all the kings of the nations, and they shall speak, Salakia, all they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? You know, so, hey man, Esau and his pride, man, you know, that's gonna be his downfall, you know, like the scriptures say in Obadiah. You know, because the, the, the nation of Edom is a very, very proud nation, man, you know, like the scriptures say. You know, uh, he is a proud man. He keep it, he, you know, roughly paraphrasing, he keep it not at home. You know, he enlarges his desire as hell. You know, hey man, Esau has um, military bases in a lot of these countries that hate the United States, man, that are getting ready to turn on the United States. You know, this is Obadiah, the first chapter. Well, there's only one chapter, so lucky. But this is the book of Obadiah, and I'm going to start at the first first verse. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith Yahweh power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us, and let us rise up against her in battle. You know, so that's what's going on, man. These other nations are standing up against America, man. Because uh, on a lot of different, on a lot of scales, the playing field has been even. It's been evened out, you know. These other nations have uh, nuclear weapons. They got uh, missiles, just like the U.S. has missiles, man, you know. And it's just, it's becoming very clear that the U.S. is not the superpower that it once was, man. You know, and uh, all these other nations, they pretty much have 
this thought in their mind that they're up next. Hey, man, like the scriptures say, the nation of Israel is up next, man. You know, and we're not talking about those Amalekites over there in, uh, in the land of Israel right now that are counterfeits. They're not the real Jews, you know. You know, and it's, it's, a, it's a lot of cuts in the scriptures that prove that, you know, um, the Lord didn't say he was just going to deliver and uh, only establish the tribe of Judah, which that's who they claim to be. The Lord is going to deliver the whole nation of Israel, you know, uh, uh, which he's going to deliver the elect first. But the, uh, the whole nation of Israel is going to come back through reincarnation, through the deliverance of the elect. You know, and there's going to be 12,000 of the elect from each tribe. You know, the Lord ain't just dealing with the tribe of Judah. You know, and he ain't um, planning on just saving the tribe of Judah. You know what I'm saying? You know, the scriptures do say that the Lord is going to uh, save the tents of Judah first. But he's going to deliver the elect from all the nation of Israel, man. You know, so, hey, man, uh, I'm going to keep reading. It says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? You know, um, hey man, this place is known for having habitations, man, that are high. You know? When you deal with New York City, when you deal with these other major cities, they all have um, skyscrapers and very tall buildings, you know. And uh, the courthouses, the White House, you know, they're all built in the similar in, in, in the likeness of mountains, man, because that's Esau's habit. That's Esau's original habitation, you know, going back to Mount Petra and, uh, you know, the, the Caucasus Mountains, you know. So I'm going to keep reading. It says, Though thou exalt, exalt thyself as the eagle, though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh. You know, so Esau has a space station. You know, you got billionaires and trillionaires that like to travel into space. And, uh, um, you know, they have this thought in their mind that their houses shall continue forever. You know, because Esau knows that uh, the United States is getting ready to be nuked, man. And different parts of the world is getting ready to be new. You know, so, you know, they want to talk about uh, building on, on different planets. You know, the elite, they have these uh, these uh, bunkers that are capable of, of, of uh, you know, um, surviving through a nuclear attack. You know, they think that uh, they're going to come back and, and, and rebuild after the, after the nukes hit this place, man. But the Lord ain't going to allow that to happen. You know, once you go down, man, you're going to remain down forever, man. You know, there is not, there, there isn't going to be a make America great again. There isn't going to be a comeback for the nation to eat them after their fall. You know, um, speaking on that civil war, this is Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. You know, so the Lord has set that spirit of division in this place, man. You know, you're going to have Esau fighting against Esau. You're going to have Jake and Esau fighting against each other, man. There are going to be all types of race wars and, uh, uh, and uh, 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 skirmishes between one people and another, man, you know? <clears throat> get some more scriptures. I want to go to 2nd uh, Nazareth, the 15th chapter. This is 2nd Nazareth, 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. 
and all of this is going to cause um, martial law, man, and lockdowns. You know, it's already to the point where you can barely travel. They want to make it to where if you're not juiced up, you can't travel, you know. So I'm going to keep reading. You know, things are going to get increasingly worse for the United States, man, as a whole. And the people that dwell here and live here. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 16 for their Salaki in, seven, in verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You know, and what uh, is going to cause that, man? It's going to be martial law. They're going to have roadblocks set up, you know. You're not going to be able to travel as you once was. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, all of that's coming. And very soon at that. You know, uh, every time you go into the grocery store, they're low on something. You know, low on meat. You know, they got a limit to, of, of what you can buy. You know, and um, it's all by design because Esau, he, he, uh, what he does through his media is he instills fear in these people. Which that leads to panic buying, you know, and we already, you know, it's already pretty much a shortage on goods, man. So when people go in there and panic buy, you know, that makes it even worse. You know, before you know it, the stores are going to be empty. You know, it's not going to be no grocery store to go to because it ain't going to be anything in there for you to buy, man. You know, and that's all in the, it's all of these things that are happening are in the scriptures. You know, they're not in the Quran or, uh, the Egyptian Book of the Dead, man, uh, 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 any of those other books that you can find, man. If it ain't the scriptures, man, if you don't have the scriptures and the knowledge and understanding of these scriptures, you're going to fail. You know, because everything that's going on right now, you know, you can literally go into the Holy Scriptures and uh, uh, and see it, man, and see it uh, uh, that, that it was prophesied before any of this ever happened. So this, I'm going to get second there is the 6 and 22. And it says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsung. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You know, that's coming very, very soon, man. There's going to be a, a, a famine, you know. And, and, and not only a famine on food, but a famine on the word. You know, if you can't uh, if you can't tell, Esau is, is heavily is heavily censoring everybody and everything, man, on every social media platform. You know, if you're saying anything that's going against, basically, if you're telling the truth, hey man, they gonna silence you, man. They gonna shut your page down, or shut your YouTube down, or remove your videos, or remove your whole YouTube channel. You know, and uh, this is is, is is affecting the profits. The men of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh more than anybody, you know, because, you know, there, there's a lot of other troops out there, but we have the 100 percent truth, the whole truth, according to the Holy Scriptures, man. You know, the truth of the Holy Scriptures is the best truth out there that's, that, that you can that you can get. You know, you got other channels and other uh, avenues to get truths, but the 100 the, percent the truth is the Holy Scriptures, man. This is the pure truth. It don't get no purer than this. You know, this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So pretty soon, man, um, we're not going to have, uh, and that goes for us too, brothers who are in the truth, you know? You know, that's why uh, we got to seek the Lord. You know, the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found, because eventually the Lord's going to take his men off the streets. He's going to have their, you know, hey, their content is not going to be on YouTube or any of these other sites, man. You know, so you got to get this truth while you can. You know, uh, the spirit has been heavy on you women here lately as well, man. And particularly, 
you Israelite women. You know, and uh, the scriptures actually tell us to prophesy against the women of our nation because the women of our nation are completely and totally out of order, man. And it's ridiculous. You know, it's a damn shame, man. When you think about the so-called Negro, Latino or Native American woman. Hey, man, you think about them uh, showing their ass, man, wherever they at, you know, twerking online, twerking in public. You know, uh, I don't I don't really see anything wrong with dancing. But if you're going to dance, man, and have fun, do it in the privacy of your home or, or, or dance for your husband. You know, because, hey, man, in the kingdom, brothers is going to have women dancing for him. You know what I'm saying? You know, but the thing with Evie is, man, she has no problem disrespecting herself, but she demands respect from the Israelite man and from other men. You know, how are you going to disrespect yourself and then demand that you be respected? That's ass backwards, man. You know, our women are completely and totally out of order. And that's why a lot of you Israelite women are going to be put to death, man. You know? That's all you good for. Two-thirds of you. You know, the only women that are going to be saved are the elect women who are actually taking heed to this word, man, and being cleansed by this word, man. You know, so, hey, man, it's going to be a lot of you Israelite women that will be put to death out there, man. Because you're in that spirit of whoredom, you know. Hey, man, all women, hey, man, all, the, the Israelite woman, you know, like, um, uh, I always hear Israelite, I mean, uh, Salaki, I always hear, you know, Apostle Tahar, other brothers. You know, some brothers deal with Jake women still, but a lot of brothers don't even want Eve, man. A lot of brothers then, then decided, hey, man, I'd rather deal with an Edomite woman or a woman of another nation who will respect me like the prince of the power that I am than to deal with the Israelite woman and have to deal with her bullshit, man. You know, a lot of brothers have decided that, hey, man, I deal with the Israelite woman going into the kingdom and when we get to the kingdom. Because right now, man, they they ain't worth a fucking uh, nickel with a hole in it, man. You know, you got Israelite women that want to be uh, 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 teachers and preachers and pastors. That's completely off according to the same scriptures that uh, most of you claim to uh, to teach out of, man. When in all actuality, you're not even, you're not teaching out the scriptures. You're teaching out of your own heart, man, according to your heart. You're not teaching according to the scriptures, which, like I said, a woman's not, not supposed to be teaching any damn body, man. A woman is supposed to shut the hell up and learn in silence from her husband, you know? This is Ezekiel 13 and 17. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart and prophesy thou against them. You know, and that's what a lot of brothers been doing, man, because the spirit is heavy on these women, man. You know? <clears throat> you know, and uh, as of right now, man, you women are in trouble, man, and it's just going to get worse and worse. You know, because, see, uh, you know, uh, men aren't getting human traffic, you know? Hey, they snatching you women up and trafficking y'all asses, man. And especially you Israelite women. You know, and who's uh, the, the, the cause of this evil? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is sending this evil amongst you Israelite women, man. You know? Hey, man, uh, pregnant women being shot and killed or, 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 or women being snatched up. You know, hey, man, hey, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? You know, all the evil that's coming upon you women is at the behest of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, and like I said, it's just going to get worse, especially for you women who don't want to bow down to an Israelite man. You know, when all hell breaks loose and you ain't got no police to call for you, you know, you don't got you don't got 911 to call. You know, uh, hey, man, you women are going to be getting snatched up and ravaged. And that's according to the scriptures, man. This isn't something that I'm just, you know, like coming out here and speaking out cornerly. The scriptures speak this, man. You know, it's prophesied. You know, you women are in big trouble, especially you women who had a man of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and you decided, you know, uh, to, to choose a life of whoredom instead of a life of, um, 
Salaki, I'm I'm looking for uh, looking for the word. I was looking for the word, man. I was gonna uh, put with that. Yeah, man. Basically, instead of uh, deciding to live the life of a modest Israelite woman, you've decided to live the life of a whore, man. You know. Hey, man. I, I it's it's very few brothers who came into this truth with a woman, and they still with that same woman, man. You know, because when you get into this truth, you know, hey, you, you got to get into the word, man. You got to get into this woman, Sophia, this wisdom, you know, you know, your woman realizes that it's not all about her any damn more, man. So she, hey, she want to get, 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 get with a nigga that's going to uh, simp with her. And that's pretty much what's going on out here, man. A majority of you fucking men are simps, especially you goddamn Israelite men, you know, you ready to serve the woman, and, and the word woman means serving. You know, women are supposed to serve men. That's the order. You know what I'm saying? And the Israelite woman is completely the hell out of order, and so is the Israelite man. You know, but hey, man, you women ain't going to get it until you somewhere getting snatched up and ravished by some filthy-ass Edomite, you know, or some... uh um um. Low down, dirty Jake, whatever, whoever, who, 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 however it happens, it's going to happen according to the scriptures, man. And most of you women, whatever hell you catch during Jacob's trouble, you deserve it. You know, especially you women who left brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord got some a, a special type of judgment for y'all wicked asses, man. This is Isaiah 32 and 9. Well, actually, I'm going to start at Isaiah 32 and 2. Because during Jacob's trouble, which we're very, very close to that time, you know, I would even go as far as to say we're in the beginning of those times, man. You know, hey, man, the only thing that's going to have a, that's going to be, a, 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 that an Israelite woman should be looking for, as even as of right now, you should be looking to get with a man in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. A man who's protected, man. You know, because all the rest of these other men out here, they gonna turn into complete punks, man. When all hell breaks loose, you know, you gonna see a uh, big buff ass men turning into straight fucking punks, man. When all hell breaks loose, man, and they don't got the knowledge and wisdom that uh, the, and the stability that having the knowledge and wisdom of these scriptures uh, uh, brings, man. You know. <laughs> The only way that you that you women are gonna survive Jacob's trouble is if you are with a man of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and, and hey, man, hey, whether you women like it or not, me, uh, uh, especially the men of the Lord, man, all all the uh, the Israelite men, whether they be of the the uh, 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 the elect or the uh, the one third, hey, man, coming up out of this place, brothers is gonna have more than one woman. You know, that's prophecy. Isaiah 4 and 1, you know, um, when it comes to, you know, uh, men and women, women greatly outnumber men, but that doesn't really matter because a man can impregnate a whole, uh, um, uh, 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 a lot of women at one damn time, man, you know, <clears throat> but this is Isaiah 32 and 2. A man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of, the, of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. You know, so a man is going to be a hiding place, man, in these days to come. You know, you women ain't going to be hollering out, I'm independent and I can take care of my damn self when uh, the police can't help. Hell, the, not even the army going to be able to help you during Jacob's trouble. You know, because hey man, they gonna be uh spread very, very thin. So when some you know, you gotta you gotta uh, uh you gotta watch the book of Eli, man. In the book of Eli, uh it was a woman and she was getting ready to be uh snatched up and ravished by like four other men. You know, but Denzel, you know, she ran into Denzel and uh he pretty much killed those men that were about to snatch her up. Hey man, if it wasn't for her bumping into him. She would have been probably uh, would have been raped and killed, man. You know, but that's the point. You no, know, you women are going to come out of that. I'm independent spirit, man. 
very, very soon. Because trouble is coming for you women, according to the Holy Scriptures. This is Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. You know? Hey, man. Right now, a, a woman feels like she can stabilize herself because she got a check coming. She got food stamps. She has um, us, uh, the, uh, the, all types of government assistance. Well, hey, man, all that is going to fail, man, very, very soon. You know, and if you ain't got a man, you going to be asked out, man. You know? Hey, man, the men of the Lord are going to have more than one woman coming up out of this place, man, before we get to the kingdom. Isaiah 4 and 1 says, um, and in that day, Seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You know? Hey, because he, he, even though if you women don't think that, a woman without a man is in reproach, man. It don't matter how much goddamn money you got, and it don't matter what kind of nice car you got and what house you live in. A woman out here without a man or a husband is in reproach. And you see, back in the day, you, uh, you Jake's understood that, man. You know, to be out here with children and not have a husband is a shameful thing. But, you know, you women, man, especially you Israelite women, you know, you will get with a Jake. Y'all have children with each other. You know, a man being a man, he's going to demand, a real man, he's going to demand respect. He's going to want, you know, control over his household. You know, and you women... As soon as Jake laid the law down, you don't like it, you put him out. To ha you put him out. Or, or, or y'all separate. However it may go. You know, you call Esau on him. Get him jammed up. You know what I'm saying? You know, because, hey, man, uh, the Israelite woman looks at Esau like he's her, her lord right now. You know? When in all actuality, that's what you should be saying to the Israelite man. You know, the scriptures say, um, that Sarah referred to Abraham as, as, as her Lord. You know, so when you, if you have a husband, that's how you should entreat your husband, according to the scriptures. You know, but hey, man, you, you, you uh, see how the Israelite woman talks and treats the Israelite man, and you see why we don't, you know, a lot of Jake's out here, like I said, they dealing with women of the other nations. You know what I'm saying? They don't want nothing to do with Eve, man. And rightfully so. You know, but hey, the Lord got an ass kicking coming for you women. And it's going to get y'all completely and all the way totally in order, man. <clears throat> you know, hey, man, we in a time of prophecy. You know, we in a year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah turning up, man. You know, pretty soon, man, at the rollout for that chip. It's going to be right in our faces, man. You know, things are happening very, very quickly. You know, and the Lord is speeding the times up for the elect's sake, man. Pretty soon, man, if you don't have that chip, you're not going to be able to buy or sell, man. You're not going to be able to participate as a citizen as a citizen in this society at all. you either going to be on the run or you're going to be thrown in a concentration camp, man, if you don't comply with the rules of Esau's new world order. You know, Revelation 13 and 16 states that, um, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, you know, hey man. So that mark is physical, you know, the word for, for mark in Revelation 13 and 16 is karagma. You know, and it goes into a physical cut into the skin. And, you know, that's what they're going to do. They're going to cut you open and they're going to put a chip in you, man, if you allow them to, you know. And uh, that hour of temptation is going to come on the earth to try all of us, man, even those of us who are in this truth. You know, 
the prophets, is, the, especially us. You know, hey man. Um, but if you out here doing what you got to do for your how one, your how shot, you standing firm, standing stiffly for those names, like it says in Second Ezra, the second chapter. Hey man, your how about some y'all is gonna get you through that hour of temptation, man. You know. But um, yeah, man. Hey, everybody is gonna be forced to either take that chip or face the consequences, and that's gonna come very, very soon. You know, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly knows as Jesus Christ. Hey, man, he's coming to establish a new rulership here on the earth, man. A rulership that will be everlasting. You know, and the Israelite man is going to be put back on that pedestal. He's going to be put back on the top. And all of the other nations, they're going to be subjugated unto us, man. Our women are going to be subjugated unto us again, man. You know, like the scriptures say, man, the kingdom is going to be translated from one people unto another. And that's going to happen very, very soon. See, because you see what Esau, the so-called white man, is doing with his rulership. He's promoting and pushing wickedness because these people are the wicked. You know, and just like the Lord gave you, gave the earth into your hands. You know, even going back to Alexander the Great, man, during that, uh, 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 uh and all, and all of the Caesars during that Greco, uh, Rome, uh, Greco Roman period, a rulership, you know, we're, we're back in that time again, man. You know, Esau's ruling because the Heavenly Father set him up, you know, and, and, and as you can see, this man is the basest of men. You know, they push the same, uh, the, the same agenda that got Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed by fire, man, which is homosexuality and uh, uh, pedophilia and all of those different things going out the strange flesh, you know. Hey, man, so this place is destruction is imminent, you know, and like Isaiah, the 13th chapter goes into, it says how long. Uh, and the destruction of Babylon shall be as, uh, it's going to be likened unto how the Heavenly Father overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And why? Because America, which is Babylon the Great, is into the same foolishness and wickedness that Sodom and Gomorrah was into, man. They got them destroyed. You know? Yeah, man, this place is on its way out. And it's only going to be so long, man. You know, Esau, the way he's running this world, if Yahweh doesn't send Yahweh Shah to come and deliver the elect soon, there's not going to be an elect for the Heavenly Father's Son to save, man. You know, they rolling out uh, uh, this 5G uh, technology. That shit's going to destroy everything that that, 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 that that it surrounds, man, including humans, animals, you name it, you know. Hey. When we were in rulership, nothing was going extinct. You have this so-called white man ruling, who is Esau, Edom, and you got animals going extinct. You got humans going extinct. You know, hey man, the earth is in a period of distress right now. And that's going to be turned around when Yahweh Shah comes back to establish the kingdom of heaven. You know, the earth is going to be uh, uh, basically go through a reset. You know, because right now, man, as it stands... If the Lord is if, if if the Lord didn't shorten the days, there would be no flesh left to save, man. Like the scriptures say, you know. I believe that's in um, uh, Psalms. I believe that's in the Book of Psalms where it talks about how uh, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, man. You know, the scriptures also talk about how when the wicked beareth rule. The people mourn, you know, hey, the wicked are being ruled uh, right now, man, as we speak. And the people are mourning. The earth is mourning, man. You know, I believe, um, hey, man, uh, the, the scriptures talk about how the trees <laughs> are going to break forth into singing when this man's rulership ends, man. You know, you know, the scriptures talk about how, um, you know, the trees are are going to be like, you know, basically like, hey, man, since thou has been put down, no feller has come up 
you know, uh, uh, against us, man. You know, that's all Esau does is kill, steal, and destroy. You know? Every time you looking around, man, every time you look around, they're destroying and cutting down trees. Hey, man, we need trees to live, man. You know? But this goddamn devil don't give a, he don't give a flying fuck about the earth, man. All he cares about is making a profit and destroying something. You know? The elites, they don't, they don't sleep well unless they know they cause some type of death and chaos in this world, man. And the scriptures speak about that as well. You know, I'm doing a lot of roughly paraphrasing because, you know, Jake out here, my hands getting a little cold, I'm trying to warm up a little bit. But yeah, man, you know, Job 30 and 8 uh, describes Esau, the so-called white man, as a base man. You know, and this, you know, you if, if you would ask why is he base? It's self-explanatory, man. It's self-explanatory, you know. <clears throat> Hey man, you people don't even know how to use the fucking bathroom and 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 and, and uh, clean up after yourselves the right way. You know what I'm saying? You know I work in uh I work in the restaurant industry. You know and Jake, hey Jake, go in there and got to clean the bathroom up, man. And you you know it, it be a lot. It, it, it be it be Edom that does this. You know it's piss all over the toilet seat. It's shit all on the wall. You know. Hey man, these are some disgusting fucking people, man. They they basically promote everything that the Heavenly Father against, which shows that they hate the most high, man. You know? Yeah, man. Esau's kingdom is on the way out. <clears throat> You know, and uh, the only thing that you, you, you so-called white people, you Edomites and you other nations have coming for you is slavery. And that's according to the scriptures, you know, which I don't deal with Black History Month because me nor any of my people are black. You know, that's a social construct that he saw the so-called white man came up with. And y'all aren't white. You're red. You know. Your blood shows forth through your skin. No. <clears throat> you so-called white people are basically a, a, a resemblance of the children of Cain and Cain himself. You know. All of the wickedness that you so-called white people have done to the nation of Israel is going to be returned back on your own head, man. Y'all aren't going to get away with enslaving us and, and destroying us as a nation and, and, and think that the same thing isn't going to come for you. No, Revelations 13 and 10 says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. You know, Isaiah the 14th chapter says how um, we are to prepare Slaughter. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that scripture. <clears throat> I'm going to pull it. Pull the phone out. Like I said, I can, Jake had to <laughs> let their hands warm up a little bit, man. You know, Jake out here froze. But, hey, the work got to be done, whether it's hot or cold, man. <laughs> you know? And we have our reward, you know what I'm saying, for pushing the work, man. That's why we got to, hey, build up our spiritual money, man. You know, because us doing this work is going to lead to us being set in thrones of rulership, man. Lord willing, we're of the elect. You know, Lord willing, we endure it to the end, man. Hey, we're going to have our prize in the kingdom. You know, which we're not going to get it on this side, but hey, it's coming, man. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to get Isaiah the 14th chapter. I believe that's in around the 20. Con, this is Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. You know, so you so-called white people, man. Hey, you Edomites, according to the scriptures. You got to pay for what your forefathers did, man. You got to pay for enslaving the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. <clears throat> Isaiah 14 and 21. Salaki and 20, yeah, and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. 
that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. You know? Oh, this is a beautiful scripture right here, getting it, getting into the missiles, man. This is Isaiah 14 and 23. I will also make it a possession for the bitter and pools of water. And I will sweep it with the basin of destruction, said Yahweh of hope. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Hey, the Lord is going to sweep this place with the basin of destruction, man. Go and look on YouTube and see the effects of a nuclear missile hidden anywhere. It's going to destroy everything in its path, man. You know, and there is a third world war brewing as we speak. And it's going to be fought for the most part with nuclear missiles. This place will be destroyed, man, and never inhabited ever again, according to the Holy Scriptures. This is Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Hey, man, the Lord is going to take this place out by fire, man. <clears throat> Yeah, man. So, um, let's gonna get another scripture on the missiles. You know, I was watching um a video of um when Israel was attacked uh, last year when the land of Israel was attacked. And those missiles that, that that were being shot on that place, they literally look like stars, man. When they uh when they when they were falling. Whew. I can't pull that scripture. But you know, basically, hey man, when the scriptures talk about when John the Revelator was seeing um what he what looked like the stars of heaven falling. Hey man, no, he was he was he was seeing missiles, man. You know, when the missiles get ready to hit this place, it's gonna look like stars falling, man. You know, and that's what's to come for America. The Lord is going to hey hey, he's going to totally annihilate this place by the fire of the chariots and those nu uh, nuclear missiles. No, Yahweh Shah said uh, in the scriptures, man, um, I come to send fire on earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? You know, because the, not only are the nuclear missiles going to hit this place, but those things that uh, Esau calls UFOs, which hey, they're not things, Salakia, Salakia, those are the uh, the chariots, man, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah that the holy angels fly in. And when those chariots come, they're going to come to the, not only deliver the elect, but they're going to come to take part in the destruction of this place, man. You know, Yahweh Shah is coming back to kill, man. The scriptures say that the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the scriptures also say that he shall come with his chariots. Um, Matter of fact, whew, try to pull that too. That's Isaiah 66 and uh, 15. No, the Lord's going to come with fire, man.
Uh, this is Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Fire from what? From the chariots, man. It says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the heavenly father's son, Yahweh Shah is coming back to, 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 to kill and destroy this place, man. You know? And to deliver his elect, man, from the four corners of the earth. Now, I got to wrap this lesson up a little earlier than I would like to. Because Jake got to catch the last bus home. What you like, man? I feel like it's ridiculous to hear in Fort Wayne. The buses only run till 6 p.m. on Saturdays, man. <clears throat> but Lord willing, you know, um, I'll be back out tomorrow with another street teaching. You know what I'm saying? And hey, man, I'm going to get ready to close this lesson out. So I want to, uh, before I do that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glories due unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. You know, again, double honor to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And uh, a double shalom to you brothers is out there pushing this word out of truth and sincerity, man. You know, until the next street teaching, I say shalom.